team. So we are going to do a little wake up flow this morning, just starting to open up through different spaces in our bodies. So let's all start in a standing position, coming on up, maybe top of the mat, maybe mid. Inhale, let's sweep the arms up, feet are hip width distance, big stretch, grounding through the feet, grabbing onto left wrist with right hand. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, hips to the left, arms to the right. Feet can stay wide or come together. Personally, I like my toes to touch in this one. Big inhale, gazing up and towards the ceiling, left shoulder down the back, breathing energy into that side body. One more nice deep inhale here. Exhale, coming back to center. Inhale, we stretch, grabbing onto that right wrist with our left hand. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, hips to the right, arms over to the left, opening up through that side body. Again, really allowing the hips to stretch over to the side, grounding through the feet, shoulder down the back, eyes up, big breath in. One more nice deep inhale. And then exhale, swan dive forward, hips back, maybe separate the feet if they were together, a little rag doll position. Big bend in those legs, shake it out side to side, little wiggle here, releasing through the hands, the shoulders, the neck. Inhale, we halfway lift. Exhale, release. <sighs> Inhale, rooting to rise, stretching up. Exhale, let's swan back forward, hips back, coming all the way into that forward fold. Again, finding a big bend in the legs here. Chest can rest on those thighs, whatever feels good. Just starting to open up. One more nice deep breath in here. On our exhale, let's walk the hands forward and bring it down into a tabletop. Stacking shoulders on top of wrists, knees below those hips. Inhale, hands and knees pull together, heart shines forward. Cow pose, big breath in, shoulders away from the ears, exhale, rounding one vertebra at a time. Inhale, tipping through the spine, opening on up. Exhale, round through the spine, beautiful, grabbing the ground with the fingers so that we're not collapsing into the wrists. We're going to travel this cat cow. So on your next Cow pose. As we start to drop the belly and lift the hips, we're going to send the hips back to our heels, almost like a child pose, but our heart shines forward. And then as we move forward, we start to tip our tailbone under, shifting into cat as we press past our finger pads. Inhale, starting to drop the belly, lift the hips, pulling it back as they ground it through the hands. Exhale, starting to tip the tailbone down, rounding through the spine. Exploring this range of motion, letting it be exactly that, an exploration. It doesn't have to be perfect at all. Just start to feel how it opens a little differently through the spine. Meeting me in tabletop, we're going to do the same thing, but reverse the order. So start to tip the tailbone, chin to chest as you drop back in a child's pose, cat pose, and then start to lift the hips, pull the belly and heart forward as we roll forward into cow. Inhale. Exhale, rounding the spine, pressing back through cat. Inhale, lifting the hips, dropping the belly, shoulders down the back as we pass through cow. One more time here, traveling. So just really starting to wake up our spine through our shoulders and our hips, a little extra, bringing it back to tabletop, just making sure those joints are stacked again. And we're going to road to or circle our rib cage. So Start to drop the belly through cow, inhale, and then sending the hips, or excuse me, the ribcage over to the left as the hips and shoulders roll to the right, bringing it up and through cat, ribcage to the right as we make a little C shape, rolling it through cow, heart pulls forward. Again, ribs trace up to the left. In a round, slowing down, making sure you're really articulating through each inch of this cat cow, and then adding a nice stretch, even deeper than we did in our original side bend this morning. And as you hit that cow shape, let's switch directions. So from cow, inhale as we send the rib cage up and around to the right. 
Circling exhale, scoop that tailbone under, hitting cat. Rib cage over to the left, feeling how it opens even deeper, not just into our side body, but maybe into our shoulder girdles, maybe our lats, that tight, pesky area that connects underneath the shoulder blades. It always feels really good after a day of sitting, too. So you can save this one for after work. Beautiful. Coming back through the center. Little shake out. Walk the hands forward. Grip the fingers. Lift the hips. Downward facing dog. Taking a second here to pedal out. Ah, big breath in and then exhale, letting it go. Just again, exploring what feels good here. Go ahead and really grip the fingers like you're trying to grab the floor with the hands. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, drop the heels over to the left. So just a little stretch here. Keep pressing that chest toward the thighs. It's okay if the heels don't reach, but they're reaching towards the left the edge of the mat. Big breath as we feel a stretch through the outside of those legs, outside of the left leg, inside of that right. Big breath in here. Exhale, lift the heels, bringing them through center, sending them over to the right. Beautiful. Same thing. Letting that chest be center and allowing yourself to feel the stretch a little bit differently in those calves, particularly. Heels are reaching for the floor, so if they're not touching today, do not stress. Just do your best. And inhale back through center. We're going to roll the spine. If this doesn't feel good, feel free to take it back either to our cat cow we were doing or maybe just child pose. But inhale, lift the heels, articulate one vertebra through the spine at a time till we get to our high plank. And then drop the hips by squeezing the glute, rolling through shoulders back, upward facing dog. Heart shines forward. So we're doing an extended cat cow in a way, chin to chest. Start to roll through the top, finding that extended cat pose. Really use the core and the glutes here. Inhale, squeeze the glutes, shift forward, articulating one vertebra at a time. Dropping the hips, but keeping the glutes so tight. Shoulders down the back, tons of space here. Exhale, squeezing the glutes, belly button tucks in tight. Pressing back through down dog. Let's go one more nice deep inhale as we shift forward. Shoulders stacked up, hands dropping it down. And exhale, big press back. Dropping the knees, beautiful. Let's walk the hands out and then drop the chest. Little puppy pose here for just a moment. You can either take the forehead down, you can take it to the chin, we're melting that heart towards the floor, keeping hips stacked on top of the knees. Big breath in as we melt the heart, exhale out. And we're nice deep inhale. On the exhale, start to slowly walk it back, toes together. Knees wide, finding your child's pose here. Big breath in, fill the back line with air. Exhale, let it go. Ooh. On your next inhale, take the right arm, thread the needle all the way across the right shoulders on the floor. Left arm extended, just a gentle threaded needle pose, opening up into the shoulder blade. Especially after all of that planking and table topping we were doing. Just a gentle stretch here, a counter stretch. When I deep breath in, exhale, stretch it back. Inhale, left arm stretches across, exhale, settling. And again, just allowing your breath to create some ease and gentleness through the shoulders, through the neck, through that low back. One more nice deep inhale and the exhale, stretch it forward and start to walk it back towards the feet. So we're sitting in a kneeling position. If that feels all right, you can always pop a pillow underneath your butt. You can come down to cross leg if that feels better, but we're just going to stretch to the top of the thighs here. Starting to squeeze the glutes, walk the hands back. Maybe today this is perfect for you. Maybe you can lift and squeeze a little bit tighter and walk back even more. Just finding this shape, whatever it is. That starts to open through the hip flexors gently. You can play around with a little lift 
and a little lower. If we're lifting those all in the glutes and never in those low backs, stretching through the tops of the thighs. More nice deep inhale, walking it back, keeping a little bit of a lean, staying seated on those heels. Just lift one knee and then the other. Super duper slow if this feels okay. Opening up through the front of the shin, the top of the ankle. If you want, you can play around with sitting a little taller and then leaning back with both. For some of us, this might be pretty extreme. So if you feel it in your knee or low back, come on off of it and back into just the gentle stretch. And then slowly coming down, staying seated. Big sweep of the arms up. And exhale, drawing it through heart center, closing down your eyes, taking a nice deep breath in through the nose. Taking a pause right here at the beginning of our day to set an intention for how we'd like to see the rest of our day go. Maybe picking a word that we can hold on to. And if we start feeling off track in the middle of our day, we can come back to. So maybe that's abundance, productivity, joy, compassion. Taking a moment to find that word. And then holding that word in that mind's eye, imagine it right in the center between those eyebrows and that third eye space and take a big inhale. Filling up, energizing that word, sip in a little bit deeper. And then exhale, let it go. Raiders, namaste. May your day be full of joy and happiness, health, and feeling amazing. I can't wait till next time.